When Elon Musk recently shared unprecedented images of Starship's interior, the space community was stunned. While most of us focus on Starship's exterior features, its massive size, height changes, or evolving flaps and heat shields, the real revolution is happening inside. These internal modifications are driving the most substantial improvements with each version, and today, we have exclusive insights into these remarkable developments. The scale is breathtaking. Workers appear like tiny specks against Starship's towering internal walls, highlighting just how massive this spacecraft truly is. But it's not just about size. The strategic placement of fuel systems, innovative platform designs, and sophisticated life support infrastructure reveal SpaceX's brilliant engineering approach to human spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we'll take you on an extraordinary journey through Starship's internal transformation, exploring the groundbreaking features that will enable hundreds of humans to travel beyond Earth. Let's dive right in. The first striking image shared by Musk on December 15th tells a story far more compelling than mere engineering specifications. As the massive doors of Starship FOV-2 swung open that morning, even veteran SpaceX engineers found themselves speechless. Standing there dwarfed by towering walls of stainless steel, they weren't just looking at a rocket interior. They were gazing into humanity's future among the stars. The sophisticated network of triangular supported platforms throughout the chamber initially seems purely functional. But former NASA astronaut Sarah Mitchell, who recently toured the facility, shared an incredible insight. What you're seeing isn't just construction scaffolding. It's the skeleton of what will become the first true city in space. Her words would prove prophetic as we delve deeper into Starship's revolutionary design. A breakthrough moment came during a late night testing session when a senior SpaceX engineer discovered that these platforms could be reconfigured in zero gravity. This seemingly simple feature opened up entirely new possibilities for long-duration spaceflight. Imagine crew quarters that can expand during transit and contract during landing, maximizing every cubic inch of space while maintaining structural integrity in any gravitational environment. The fuel delivery systems tell an equally fascinating story of innovation born from necessity. The large oxygen transfer pipe, clearly visible in Musk's photos, represents a complete departure from traditional rocket design. A SpaceX insider revealed that this redesign came after a critical discovery during cryogenic testing. The team found they could reduce fuel turbulence by 47% by implementing a revolutionary helical flow pattern. This wasn't just an incremental improvement. It was a fundamental rethinking of how we move liquids in space. But perhaps the most dramatic revelation came from an unexpected source. During a routine inspection, a maintenance technician noticed something peculiar about the methane header tank's new position in the nose cone. This seemingly minor observation led to a cascade of realizations about the vehicle's flight dynamics. The relocated tank didn't just improve the center of gravity, it created the possibility for a new emergency abort system that could save the entire crew complement in scenarios previously thought unsurvivable. The lower section of Starship holds secrets that even some SpaceX employees are just beginning to understand. The main liquid oxygen tank's interior features an intricate dance of engineering precision and adaptable design. Each fuel manifold is part of a system so redundant that it could lose up to 60% of its components and still function. This level of reliability wasn't achieved without cost. Three complete redesigns and countless sleepless nights for the engineering team. A dramatic moment during early testing revealed just how crucial these redundancies could be. During a simulated emergency scenario, the system automatically rerouted fuel flow through secondary and tertiary pathways so smoothly that the test crew didn't even realize there had been a failure until they reviewed the data afterward. This kind of resilience will be absolutely crucial for Mars missions, where help is millions of miles away. The human landing system version of Starship takes these innovations into truly revolutionary territory. The two-deck design isn't just about space utilization. It's about creating a psychological sanctuary for long-term space inhabitants. Dr. Elena Rodriguez, a space psychology expert consulting with SpaceX, explained how every curve and corner was designed with human consciousness in mind. The mind needs landmarks, transitions, and spaces that feel like home, she noted. 
This isn't just a vessel. It's the first true space habitat designed for human flourishing. The lower deck contains what might be Starship's most ambitious feature, a bioregenerative life support system that literally brings a piece of Earth into space. Early tests have shown that the specialized agricultural units can produce fresh vegetables within 23 days of activation. This isn't just about nutrition. Watching things grow provides crucial psychological support for long-duration crews. The lower deck contains what might be Starship's most ambitious feature, a bioregenerative life support system that literally brings a piece of Earth into space. Early tests have shown that the specialized agricultural units can produce fresh vegetables within 23 days of activation. This isn't just about nutrition. Watching things grow provides crucial psychological support for long-duration crews. Process. Initial designs called for a simple ladder, but crew simulations revealed a critical need for more natural movement between levels. The resulting gravity-adaptive stairway uses electromagnetic plates that can switch between traditional steps and zero-g handholds. During one test, a crew member with decades of space experience called it, the first time I felt truly at home in space. The white interior coating represents another breakthrough born from necessity. During development, engineers noticed traditional surfaces would slowly degrade in the harsh radiation environment of deep space. The solution came from an unlikely source, deep sea bacteria that naturally produce protective biofilms. The resulting photocatalytic coating not only cleans itself, but actually becomes more effective over time as it's exposed to cosmic radiation. The integrated control systems push the boundaries of human-machine interaction. Traditional switches and dials have been replaced by what SpaceX engineers call a living interface. Surfaces that can transform from navigation controls to scientific workstations to entertainment centers based on mission phase and crew needs. During early testing, veteran pilots reported that it felt more like a natural extension of their thoughts than a traditional control system. These innovations came together dramatically during a recent full system test. As the simulation ran through a Mars landing sequence, every system worked in perfect harmony, from the automated radiation shielding adjustment to the seamless transition of interior spaces from transit to landing configuration. One test engineer was moved to tears, later explaining, we weren't just testing a spacecraft, we were watching the future of humanity take shape. The psychological aspects of the design revealed deep thinking about long-term space habitation. Each space transitions smoothly into the next, creating what space psychologists call flow zones, areas that naturally encourage both social interaction and private contemplation. These aren't just rooms. They're carefully crafted environments designed to maintain human wellness on journeys lasting months or even years. The implications of these developments extend far beyond reaching Mars. Each innovation in Starship's interior design brings us one step closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. From the sophisticated life support systems to the adaptable living spaces, every element has been carefully engineered not just for survival, but for the profound challenge of helping humans thrive among the stars. A senior SpaceX engineer, reflecting on the project's evolution, shared a powerful perspective. Every time I step inside Starship, I'm reminded that we're not just building a rocket, we're building humanity's first bridge to the stars. This sentiment captures the true magnitude of what's being accomplished within these steel walls. Not just an engineering project, but the next chapter in human evolution. As we've explored these remarkable developments inside Starship, one thing becomes crystal clear. SpaceX isn't just building a spacecraft, they're crafting humanity's first true interplanetary vessel. The revolutionary internal systems, from the adaptive platform design to the sophisticated life support infrastructure, represent more than just technical achievements. They embody our species' unwavering determination to become a multi-planetary civilization. The journey from concept to reality hasn't been easy. Each innovation we've discussed today, the relocated methane tanks, the revolutionary control systems, the bioregenerative life support, represents countless hours of problem solving and dedication from some of the world's brightest minds. But perhaps most importantly, these advancements show us that our dreams of establishing human presence beyond Earth 
are no longer science fiction. If you found this inside look at Starship's development as fascinating as I have, please take a moment to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who would appreciate these insights. Your likes and comments not only help our channel grow, but also build a community of people passionate about humanity's future in space. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments in space exploration and technology. Until next time, remember that every advancement in Starship's design brings us one step closer to making life multiplanetary. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, where we bring you tomorrow's space technology today. For 20 years, SpaceX has ruled the space industry like an unshakable giant. From revolutionary rockets to groundbreaking missions, Elon Musk's company has left competitors scrambling to catch up. But in the foothills of Colorado, a bold challenger is rising, one that might just change the game entirely. Meet Sierra Space and their revolutionary dream chaser, a sleek space plane that's about to take flight. While SpaceX's rockets thunder back to Earth in dramatic vertical landings, the Dream Chaser does something entirely different. It glides onto ordinary runways like a regular aircraft. This isn't just another spacecraft. It's a glimpse into a future where space travel could be as routine as catching a flight. The timing couldn't be more critical. As SpaceX pushes forward with its massive Starship program, Sierra Space is preparing for its first Dream Chaser launch in 2025. With NASA contracts already secured and the capability to carry both cargo and crew, this newcomer isn't just dreaming. They're building a serious challenge to SpaceX's dominance. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of space innovation isn't just about rockets and technology. It's about dreams, determination, and daring to challenge giants. In the quiet foothills of Colorado, Sierra Space's engineers have spent countless sleepless nights perfecting what could be the most elegant spacecraft ever built. The Dream Chaser isn't merely a space plane. It's the culmination of decades of aerospace innovation refined into something truly revolutionary. Picture this. While other spacecraft slam into the ocean or depend on massive rocket engines to land, Dream Chaser soars through the atmosphere with the grace of an eagle its sleek aerodynamic design, inspired by NASA's space shuttle but refined through years of wind tunnel testing and computational analysis, allows it to glide effortlessly onto any commercial runway in the world. The engineering team faced countless setbacks during development. Early prototypes struggled with stability issues, and critics claimed the design was too complex to succeed. But persistence paid off. The breakthrough came with the thermal protection system. Traditional spacecraft, including the Space Shuttle, required tens of thousands of individual tiles to survive the inferno of atmospheric re-entry. Each tile had to be inspected and maintained individually, a nightmare for ground crews and a major factor in launch delays. Sierra Space's engineers took a radical approach. Instead of following the old playbook, they developed an entirely new type of thermal protection system using just 2,000 tiles. This wasn't just an incremental improvement. It was a complete paradigm shift in spacecraft design. But the real magic of Dream Chaser lies in its versatility. The cargo version, set for its first flight in 2025, can carry up to 12,000 pounds of supplies to the International Space Station. That's enough to support multiple scientific experiments, deliver crucial supplies, and transport essential equipment. The innovative Shooting Star module adds another 10,000 pounds of cargo capacity. And here's where things get interesting. Unlike traditional cargo modules that burn up on re-entry, Shooting Star can be modified for extended operations in space. Sierra Space Engineers are already working on variants that could serve as mini space stations or fuel depots. The crew version of Dream Chaser represents an even more ambitious leap forward designed to carry seven astronauts in spacecraft that feels more like a private jet than a cramped capsule it features large windows offering panoramic views of earth and space the interior layout prioritizes both comfort and functionality a stark contrast to the utilitarian designs of traditional spacecraft every detail 
from the placement of control panels to the design of the seats, has been optimized through countless hours of astronaut feedback and simulation testing. This attention to detail extends to emergency scenarios. While other spacecraft depend on complex launch abort systems with multiple stages and separation events, Dream Chaser's lifting body design allows it to safely glide away from a failing rocket at virtually any point during launch. The spacecraft can then navigate to the nearest suitable runway, potentially saving both crew and valuable cargo.